Three officers were indicted for their use of force during protests that turned into riots two years ago in Dallas. The indictments were for two Dallas officers and one Garland officer. The Garland police chief clearly did not like it, defended his officer. The Dallas chief stopped short of defending his officers, but says their actions were not criminal. Fox 4 Stephen Dial joins us with more. Stephen. Heather. Dallas and Garland law enforcement officials were heated after hearing about the indictments against the officers and both police chiefs did say that the less than lethal use of force was not a criminal act. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia and Police Association President Mike Mata called the indictment of two officers unprecedented. The murder of George Floyd resulted in more than 60 days of protests in Dallas the summer of 2020. Some of those days, including May 30th, 2020, protests turned into riots. Some downtown businesses were damaged and looted. The city of Dallas issued a curfew. Texas DPS troopers and the Texas National Guard members were brought in to help law enforcement. Friday, Dallas County District Attorney John Cruzeau announced a grand jury returned 21 indictments against three officers while using less lethal force on protesters and rioters. I'm saying that, uh, that we weren't perfect, but I'm saying that uh, I don't believe, and it's for a jury to decide, whether what the actions taken that day amounted to criminal culpability and criminal intent. Garcia was not the police chief at the time of the protests and violence. He did not outright defend the officer's actions in a Friday press conference, but he did say the use of force was not criminal. Police Association President Mike Mata, however, did not mince words. I don't see how we get to this point. I think it is a complete overstep of judicial powers uh, that D.A. Cruzeau uh, manipulated and in an, an event to get a indictment. The indictments are against DPD Senior Corporal Ryan Mabry and former DPD Senior Corporal Melvin Williams. The charges aggravated assault by a public servant, deadly conduct and official oppression. Prior to this case being presented to a new grand jury, Mabry and Williams were arrested in February when the DA first filed charges in this investigation. Cruzo had talked about the 40 millimeter used by officers as one of the main tools that caused injuries. That tool was used over 200 times throughout all those days. But we're going to look at specifically these two incidences or three incidences and say that officers used malice or intent to cause serious bodily harm. It's unbelievable. It's ridiculous. Garland police officer Joe Privet was indicted on an aggravated assault charge. Privet had been given permission by his chief to answer a request by DPD for more manpower. I'm astonished and disappointed. Garland Police Chief Jeff Bryan was more vocal than Dallas's Chief Garcia. Chief Bryan says all of the officers that joined him in a show of force at his Friday news conference were there because they shared his displeasure with the indictment. Brian did not take any reported questions. Given the dangerous circumstances faced by our officers on the night of the riots, I have not seen evidence against Officer Privet that rises to the level of the criminal conduct that has been alleged by the grand jury, which is aggravated assault by threat from a public servant. Robert Rogers is the attorney for former officer Melvin Williams. Officers shall dispel a riot and that that's what they were doing. The DAs are ignoring the facts surrounding this and they're trying to take these cases out of context and you can't do that. Chief Garcia and Mata admit officers in Dallas and around the country made mistakes in response to protesters. Brandon Sines lost his eye during the protests. Mata says it's one thing to bring civil lawsuits it's another to say officers had criminal intent. If he feels that there's uh, civil recourses for him, by absolutely, he has every right to do so. But there's no way you're going to get me to understand or even say that those officers went out there to intentionally cause, maim, or injure people. That is not what they did out there, especially those two officers. Now, during the course of all the protests and those riots, about uh, a dozen DPD officers were injured. Mike Mata is saying today that it's a double standard that 
the officers had charges, but no one has been charged in injuring the officers. We reached out to the DA's office to see if he had any further comment, and they said they are only sticking to the press release today.